good morning my dear students welcome to the discussion on the topic projection of solids under this we are discussing solids axis inclined to one and parallel to another reference plane under this we are solving first problem under solids axis inclined to one and parallel to another reference plane concept we are solving a problem on pentagonal prisms axis inclined to hp and parallel to vp and its base side on hp now we'll enter into the problem the given problem is a pentagonal prism of base edge 25 mm and axis 60 mm rests on an edge of its base in the hp its axis is parallel to vp and inclined at 45 degrees to the hp draw its projections now we'll extract the data from this problem the name of the object is pentagonal prism and its base side length is 25 mm axis height is 60 mm and axis inclination to which plane horizontal plane other than this what are the other conditions mentioned in the problem here base edge is on the horizontal plane and its axis inclination with hp is 45 degrees and axis is parallel to the vertical plane that is the base side is on the horizontal plane axis inclination with hp is 45 degrees and axis is parallel to the vertical plane that means true length of the axis will get in the front view that's to on the vertical plane then with this data we need to draw the projection of the pentagonal prism the presentation of the solution to the given problem is divided into two stages stage 1 that is giving concept and brief overview of the solution and in the second stage we are going towards the detailed solution for the given problem now we'll move towards stage 1 that is concept and brief overview of the solution in the problem it is mentioned that the pentagonal prism is resting on its base edge in the hp and its axis is inclined at 45 degrees to the hp and parallel to the vp here this is the pentagonal prism and it is resting on its base edge say cd on hp and its axis is inclined at 45 degrees to the hp here theta value is 45 degrees to the hp in this case if you see in the front or top of the prism the true shape of the base is not visible in order to get the true shape of the base of the pentagonal prism what we need to do we need to keep the pentagonal prism such that the axis of the pentagonal prism is perpendicular to the hp so that we will see the true shape of the pentagonal prism's base that is we are keeping the pentagonal prism such that the axis is perpendicular to the hp and base is parallel to the hp so that we are able to see the true shape of the base of the pentagonal prism the true shape of the base of the pentagonal prism is visible in the top view that is drawing the true shape of the base of the solid is the first step in projection of solids the given problem is comes under solids axis inclined to one plane and parallel to another plane how to solve this solids axis inclined to one and parallel to another plane approach problem that we'll see now in the present problem the pentagonal prism is resting on its base side on hp and its axis is inclined to hp and parallel to vp in the case of projection of solids the first step is drawing true shape of the base in order to draw the true shape of the base what we need to do we need to keep the pentagonal prism such that its axis is perpendicular to the hp if the axis is perpendicular to the hp means its base is parallel to the hp if the base is parallel to the hp means in top you will get the true shape of the base of a pentagonal prism so drawing true shape of the base of the pentagonal prism is the first step in this particular problem if the inclinations are given directly then in the first stage 
the axis is assumed to be perpendicular to the reference plane. The view obtained on the reference plane will give the true shape of the base. After drawing the true shape of the base, then we will draw the corresponding other view and other view will give the true length of the axis. Here in this particular problem, first we will draw true shape of the base in the top view. After drawing the true shape of the base, then we will draw its corresponding front view. The corresponding front view gives the true length of the axis. This is the first stage solution that is drawing true shape of the base and drawing its corresponding other view with the given axis height. Then we'll move towards the second stage solution. In the second stage solution, the other view in this particular problem, front view is redrawn so that the axis will make the required angle with the reference plane to which it was initially perpendicular. Here the axis is initially it is perpendicular to the HP now. So it is to be tilted with the required angle. In this particular problem, it is 45 degrees inclination with the HP. So this particular simple position, this particular simple position pentagonal prism image in the front view is to be tilted with the given required inclination with the HP. After tilting, we'll draw its corresponding other view, say top view. That other view is the required second stage top view in this particular given problem. That is, the given problem is solved into two stages and four steps. That we'll see the four steps in brief. The first step is drawing the true shape of the base on the reference plane. Draw its corresponding view on other reference plane. This is the second step. And in the case of third step, tilt the second step view with the given inclination of the solid. And fourth step is the draw third step corresponding other view. That is the solids axis inclined to one and parallel to another plane concept problems are divided into two stages and four steps. Now we'll move towards what are the conditions to be considered while drawing the true shape of the base of a solid. These are the important points to be considered for drawing the simple position of prism or pyramid when the axis of the prism or pyramid making inclination to one reference plane and parallel to the another reference plane. The first important point is when a prism or a pyramid has to be placed with an edge of the base on HP such that the base or axis is inclined to HP, then initially the prism or pyramid is placed with its base on HP with an edge of the base perpendicular to VP and lying on the right side preferably and vice versa. And second important point is when a prism or a pyramid has to be placed with corner of the base on HP such that the base or axis is inclined to HP, then initially the prism or a pyramid is placed with its base on HP with corner containing two sides make equal inclination to the XY line, keep corner right side preferably and vice versa. After reading the above two important points, now we will see the how you will draw the true image of the base for the given pentagonal prisms problem. In the present problem, the pentagonal prism is resting on its base side say CD on HP and its axis is making an angle theta degrees to the HP. Then that base side CD we need to keep perpendicular to the XY line, preferably right side. So in the initial position, we need to draw top view of the pentagonal prism so that its base side CD is perpendicular to the XY line. So this is the correct way of drawing the top view of a pentagonal prism. Suppose if the prism is standing on its corner while its axis is making inclination to the HP, then this is the correct top view. But in the problem it is mentioned that prism is resting on its base side. So this is the correct one, whereas this one is incorrect. In the case of solids axis inclined to HP and parallel to VP, 
we should not draw the top view like this. So this is wrong. Among these, for the related problem, this is correct one, whereas these two are incorrect. Now we'll see the brief overview of the solution. As a first step, what we need to do? As I said earlier, the pentacle prism is resting on its base on HP and acts is parallel to VP and one of its base sides say CD is kept perpendicular to the VP. So draw true shape of the base of the pentagonal prism that is regular pentagon in top U. While drawing, see that its base side CD is kept perpendicular to the XY line. This is the top U of the pentagonal prism. After drawing the top U, then we'll draw its corresponding front U. The front U gives the information about axis height. O dash and O dash is the axis height, which is equal to 60 mm. Then draw projectors through A, B, C, D, E towards the vertical plane. And then locate the intersection points. Then join those points. This is the required front view in the simple position. And this is the required top view in the simple position. After that, we'll move towards the second stage. In the second stage, we are tilting the front view such that C dash D dash is on the XY line and its axis is making an angle 45 degrees to the HP. In order to easily reproduce the first stage front view into the second stage front view, instead of drawing first the axis inclination with HP, we'll draw base inclination with HP. Here, axis is making an angle theta degrees to the HP means this base is making an angle 90 minus theta degrees with the HP because axis and base are mutually perpendicular. That is, instead of drawing first axis inclination, first we will draw base inclination with HP. If axis inclination is theta degrees and base inclination becomes 90 minus theta degrees with the HP. So as a first step, draw base inclination, then we'll draw axis line. Why we need to draw like this? Whenever the inclination of the axis theta with HP is given, first the base is drawn at 90 minus theta in the front U. Otherwise, improper selection of the position of the axis may result in the base at C dash D dash lying above or below the XY line. So instead of drawing first axis line, draw base line with the required inclination. Here, axis inclination with HP is theta degrees, then base inclination with HP is 90 minus theta degrees. Then transfer the C dash A dash line from here to there. So C dash A dash has a radius, draw an arc, Similarly, C dash B dash is a radius, C dash is a center, draw an arc. Similarly, C dash O dash is a radius, draw an arc on this inclined line. After that, draw perpendiculars to this baseline, passing through these points, and length of the perpendiculars is equal to the axis length, which is equal to 60 mm. Reproducing the first stage front view into the second stage front view is over. Then we will draw second stage top view. For that, draw projector through the second stage front view points towards the horizontal plane and draw locus lines through the corresponding points in the first stage top view. That is, draw projectors through A dash towards the horizontal plane. B dash, O1 dash, C1 dash, 
1 dash, 2 dash, 4 dash and 3 dash draw filter towards the horizontal plane then draw locus lines from the first stage top view points then locate the intersection points and name the intersection points After naming the intersection points, then we'll join the intersection points based upon three steps. What are those three steps that we'll discuss under detailed solution related to the given problem? This is the second stage top view. How you got the second stage top view that we'll see under detailed solution. Now we'll move towards the detailed solution related to the given problem. Detailed solution. This detailed solution is divided into two stages. Stage one, initial position assumption. Second stage, keeping one of the base side on HP and axis inclined to HP. Now we'll enter into the detailed solution for the given problem. Now we are drawing the initial position of the pentagonal prism. In this position, we are assuming pentagonal prism is resting on its base on HP and axis parallel to VP. So as a first step, draw XY line. After drawing the XY line, then draw true shape of the pentagonal prism's base. The true shape of the pentagonal prism's base is visible in the top view because the pentagonal prism is resting on its base on HP so that in top view you will get true shape of the pentagonal prism as regular pentagon. So draw top view of the pentagonal prism's base that is a regular pentagon while drawing the pentagonal prism's base, keep one side of the pentagon perpendicular to the xy line. Why we need to keep side perpendicular to the xy line? Because in the second stage, the pentagonal prism is tilted so that it is resting on its base side on HP and its axis is making an angle 45 degrees to the HP so that that base side is kept perpendicular to the xy line. So draw pentagon in top view by keeping one side perpendicular to the xy line, preferably that side kept right side and length of the base side of the pentagon is 25 mm. Then complete the construction of the pentagon. Here the angle between two adjacent sides of a pentagon is 108 degrees. Here base side length is 25 mm. After drawing the pentagonal prism's base in top view, then name the corners of the bottom base points as well as top base points. Here, a, B, C, D and E are the bottom base corner points. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are the top base corner points of the pentagonal prism. Then locate the center of the base of a pentagonal prism in top view.
this is the center of the pentagonal prism's base and also it is the image of the axis. With this, we completed drawing the pentagonal prism's base in top view. Then we will draw its corresponding front view. For that, draw projector through center of the pentagonal prism's base towards the vertical plane. Draw projector through center of the pentagonal prism's base in top view towards the vertical plane. Then this is O dash. Here the axis height of the pentagonal prism is given in the problem which is equal to 60 mm. Say O1 dash that is O dash and O1 dash is the axis height of the pentagonal prism in front view. Then draw projectors through A, B, C, D, E towards the vertical plane for drawing the front view. The pentagonal prism is resting on one of its base on HP. So, its base image falls on the XY line in the front view. A dash, B dash, E dash, C dash, T dash, and this is the image of the pentagonal prisms top base and this is the image of the pentagonal prism's bottom base. 1 dash, 2 dash, 5 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. The prism is resting on one of its base on HP. So, it image falls on the XY line. So, dark A dash C dash line on the XY line. Then, join a dash 1 dash face edge line in front view, C dash 3 dash face edge line in front view, B dash 2 dash face edge line in front view, and O dash and O1 dash is the axis line. Here a dash c dash is the image of the bottom base of the pentagonal prism. 1 dash 3 dash is the image of the pentagonal prism's top base. a dash 1 dash is the face edge of the pentagonal prism. b dash 2 dash, c dash 3 dash, 4 dash d dash, e dash 5 dash are the remaining face edge images in the front view and o dash and o1 dash is the image of the axis in front view. With this we completed first stage solution of the pentagonal prism when it is resting on its base on HP and axis parallel to VP. Next we will move towards the second stage solution. In the second stage solution we will reproduce the first stage front view with the given condition. What is the given condition? The prism is resting on its base side on HP and axis is making an angle 45 degrees to the HP. This is the given condition. Prism is resting on its base side CD on HP. So, 
it image say c dash d dash is on the x y line c dash d dash on the x y line then the axis is making an angle 45 degrees to the hp to the axis this base is perpendicular if the axis is making an angle 45 degrees to the hp means base is making an angle 90 minus 45 degrees that is 45 degrees to the hp that is in order to easily reproduce the first stage frame to the second stage frame view we will consider the base inclination with hp at c dash d dash with the base inclination with hp say 90 minus 45 degrees that is 45 degrees draw inclined line after that transfer the c dash a dash line along this inclined line name this point as a dash c dash b dash as a radius c dash as a center draw an arc name this point as b dash and e dash similarly c dash o dash as a radius name this point as o dash then to this base this face edges say a dash 1 dash b dash 2 dash c dash 3 dash are perpendicular so draw perpendiculars through this inclined line passing through a dash b dash o dash c dash with a length of 60 mm that 60 mm is nothing but axis height Reproducing the first stage front view into the second stage front view with the given condition is completed. Then we will move towards drawing the second stage top view. For that, draw projectors through A dash, B dash, C dash, O dash, 1 dash, 2 dash, O1 dash, and 3 dash towards the horizontal plane and draw locus lines from the corresponding points in the initial stage top view. Then locate the intersection points through A dash. This is the projector coming, and this is the locus line for A. Then name this intersection point as A1. Through B dash, this is the projector coming, and this is the locus line for B. Then name this point as B1. Similarly, locate remaining points in the second stage top view.
this is the direction of top view now we have to join these points based upon certain conditions we need to join these points as a first step join all outside points with continuous dark lines after joining all outside points with continuous dark lines then we have to identify the corner which is very nearer to the observer for the observer one dash corner is very nearer so one dash corner containing all edges to be dark and continuous then identify the corner which is away from the observer that is furthest from the observer and this corner is nearer to the xy line so it is not visible for the observer so this corner containing remaining all edges are to be hidden so draw hidden lines passing through c dash d dash corner c dash d dash is hidden so draw that line as a dotted line then c b1 also dotted e1 d1 also dotted then 41 d1 also dotted 31c1 also dotted then here o1 o2 is the axis line some portion of the axis line is hidden by the a1 11 face edge remaining portion of the axis line only we will draw as a axis line for joining the points in the second stage top view we considered rules what are these rules as a first step we need to join all outside points with continuous dark lines second step identify the direction of the observer and identify the corner which is very nearer to the observer and that corner containing all edges to be continuous and dark and third condition identify the corner which is furthest from the observer and nearer to the xy line and that corner containing remaining all sides to be hidden this is the second stage top view with this we completed second stage solution now we'll see the dimensioning details here 25 mm is the base side length of a pentagonal prism and 60 mm is the axis height of the pentagonal prism here all these dimensions are in millimeters then we'll move towards the pencil uses here the first stage front view and top view second stage front view and top view are with h pencil and the projectors are with 3h pencil dimensioning is with 2h pencil now we will see the overall summary of the solution this is the first stage solution in this stage we assumed pentagonal prism is resting on its base on hp and axis parallel to vp and one of its base side is kept perpendicular to the xy line and in the case of second stage we tilted the first stage front view such that it is resting on its 
side say C D on H P. That means C dash D dash is on the X Y line, and its axis is making an angle 45 degrees to the H P. After that, completed drawing the related top view. This is the solution for the given problem. If you have any queries or doubts, you can write under comment section below this video. I'll clarify them. Visit again for more videos on engineering graphics using the links provided under description of this video. Keep learning and knowledge sharing. Thank you for watching.